Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to send an authorization header using the Volley library for a GET request. This is a crucial step when working with APIs that require authentication. So let's break it down and see how we can implement this in our code. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To send an authorization header using the Volley library in Android, we first need to create a JSON object request. This request will allow us to specify the HTTP method, URL, and response listeners. Next, we need to implement the response listener. This listener will handle the server's response and log it for debugging purposes. Now let's add the error listener to handle any potential errors that may occur during the request. This is crucial for debugging and user feedback. To include the authorization header, we override the getHeaders method. Here we create a hash map and add our authorization token. Finally, we add the request to the request queue to execute it. This will send the get request along with the authorization header. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To send an authorization header in Android using the Volley library, you can override the getHeaders method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To send an authorization header in Android using the Volley library, you can create a JSON object request. Override the getBodyContentType method to specify the content type. Next, override the getHeaders method to include your authorization token in a hash map. Finally, handle the response and error in the request to log the results and show a toast message. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To send an authorization header in Android using the Volley library, you can create a JSON object request. In this request, you override the getHeaders method to include your authorization token. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To send an authorization header in Android using the Volley library, you can override the getHeaders method. First, combine your email and password into a single string. Next, encode this string in Base64 format. This will prepare your credentials for secure transmission.
Then create a hash map to store your headers and add the authorization header with the encoded credentials. Finally, return the headers map from the method. This will include your authorization header in the request. Here's the complete code snippet for reference. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.